kid. Hey, man, what's up? How much is going on with you? Not too much. Did you catch that half-day boat today? Matter of fact, I did. Did you catch anything? Yeah. Cut a couple anglers. I throw them back. <laughs> They're not good eating, are they? Kind of bony. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that about that Friday night, the yellowtail? No. Oh, what a story. You know, I got canned Friday. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I, just, I was cruising my Barracuda. Coming home, heard a pop. I pulled into a shell station. The guy said it blew a seal. I told him, I said, just fix the thing. Leave my private life out of it. So I had some time there, so I stumbled across to a place called the Oyster Bar. Yeah. So yeah. my buddy Gil he used to play for the Dolphins. Yeah, he was working the bar. Yeah. He's barely keeping his head below water, though. It's a tough day. So I uh, bellied up. I ordered a rusty snail, peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich on the side. I slipped him a fin. I was feeling pretty good. I actually dropped a sand dollar in a box for Jerry Squids. What'd you do that for? Ah, uh, halibut. Is the place crowded? Oh, yeah. It was weird. The place was jumping. Really? Packed in like sardines. Perfect. Yeah. They were screaming groupers all over the place. They were there listening to the big band sound of Tommy Dorsal. Some soul band. He was rocking the place with a popular tuna. Salmon chanted evening. Sounds great. Any good looking action in there? Oh, yeah. This cute little yellowtail comes up. I said, hmm. Nice girl. She said things I just couldn't fathom, though. She was too deep. She seemed to be in a lot of pressure. Boy, could she drink, though. She drank a lot. Don't tell me. Her son was a aquarium. <laughs> she got tanked. <laughs> so I figured, she's reeling. Here's my chance for a little fun, you know, piece of Pisces. <laughs> so I said, hey, Freddie, go up to my place. It'll only take a few minnows. She goes, not tonight. It's a school night. Plus, I have a haddock. She wasn't kidding either, because then walked the biggest, meanest looking haddock I've ever seen come down the pike. Big fell, huh? This guy was covered in muscles. Comes up to me and says, hey, shrimp, don't you be crawling around here. What a crab. What was his deal? I don't know. He was steamed, though. I could see the anchor in his eye. I knew there was going to be trouble, so did Gil. He's already on the phone to the cods. Sure enough, the haddock swings, throws a sucker punch at me. What'd you do? I ducked. Caught him with a left hook. It was a fluke. There he was, lying on the deck, flat as a mackerel, kelpless. <laughs> Did you have to call sturgeon? Oh, yeah. They called off the cods. By the time the sturgeons came, I said, put a gaff in this good boy. He's done. <laughs> Yellowtail's pretty impressed the way I landed her boy. She says, hey, you're a pretty game fish. What's your name? I said, Marlin. From there, we went out. We had a whale of a time. Bought our bouquet of flounders. Went out to dinner. Went out to dance. Took her back to my place. Worked her orange roughy. Scaled her. Oh, what a night. She sounds like a keeper. Oh, she's all right. I think she gave me something. I gotta check the doctor right now. I got an appointment. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she gave me. She's something down here. 